Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a regular hexagon when you are giving the distance across across flat. So what this means is that if you are asked to draw a hexagon, and don't forget an a hexagon it has um, six sides. So you are going to be having something like this. So this is a, uh, a hexagon. So this is just free and sketch. That's why it's looking at like this. So this is one, two, three, four five and six six side and they ask you that okay the distance across flat should be let's say 10 centimeters i mean distance from this side five to side two the distance from here to be 10 centimeter that means the distance from side one to side four will also be 10 centimeter from side six to side three will be 10 centimeter so that is what it that's what i'm going to be showing you in this video so how do you draw a regular hexagon when giving the distance across flat so for this uh for this video, we are going to be using a distance of 10 cm across flat. So how do we go about it? So before we get started into this video, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, kindly click on the subscribe button below and click on the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just subscribed. Uh, it means a lot to this channel if you subscribe. So please click on the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe. So now, like I said in this video, we are going to be using uh, the distance across flat to be 10 cm. So if the distance across flat is 10 centimeter what we are going to do is this 10 centimeter we are going to divide it into two that means then we are going to draw a circle of with a radius of five centimeter so now i'm with my compass and let me measure five centimeter so now i want to draw a circle so the radius for this circle is five centimeter don't forget the distance across flat is 10 cm. So we divided it by 2. That gives us 5 cm. So now I already have, have the circle. So the next thing is to draw a straight line that will pass through the center. So I already have my line. So let me so let me call this line a b so now i'll bring my protractor so i want to draw another line that is perpendicular to line a b so uh, this time around i'll just use my protractor to do that so let me note the point at 90 degrees So, so with that, I can draw a perpendicular line. So now I've just drawn this perpendicular line. But now if you notice that I'm still holding on to my ruler. And that's because we are going to be introducing the set square. So I'll just be using two ruler. I want to place another one just below the first ruler. So if you are using a T square, you won't have problem with uh, what I'm doing just with what I'm just doing now by switching rulers. So with that, I'll bring in my set square at an angle of so this I'm using the 30 degree set square. So this part is 30 degrees. This part is 30 degrees. So you place it on your ruler like this and then you adjust it till it's touching the circumference that means i'm in the first quadrant now i'm in this particular quadrant so make sure you have to be careful when you are doing this so that you don't just move your ruler or your set square okay so you can see. So what I want to do now, you can see the way I turn the set square. So this part is also giving me 30 degrees. I will adjust it till it's touching the circumference on this particular quadrant. So make sure uh, the set square is re resting properly on your ruler and your ruler is still intact. Ok, 
okay so let me bring back this ruler so that i can do that of the other two quadrants so like i said if you are working with t square you won't need to be switching ruler so your t square if it's well positioned then that will do the job for you so still using my set square So this line is touching the circumference at this part and then it's touching this line AB. So just look at the way I'm going to turn my set square. So let it rest on the ruler, I'll adjust it. Okay. All right. So now I've taken taken up the ruler. So now I can uh, bring back my compass. Or before I use my compass, there's another way. What I want to do now. So while you, if you are still holding on to your to your ruler, you can just use your set square at an angle of ninety. You use it to draw. A line that will touch this this way so let okay let me just do that so let me get back this point so so now my ruler is back so now using this this angle 90 I will adjust it to where this line let me call this line this is line AB let me call this line BC Okay, no, it's line CD. So here this line CD is touching the circumference of this circle. So still using my set square. So I have to switch to my 45 degree set square because the other 30 degree was too long for my space. So but it's still the same. So you bring it here. So this is one side. So now let's bring out the hexagon. So let's make the hexagon bold. So let me use my ruler. So from this point to where it's touching this line AB, I'm trying to make it bold because that represents the hexagon itself. So we can see now with this now we've been able to, to draw a, a hexagon with a distance across flat of 10 centimeters. So if I should measure it, so you see that the distance across it is, is 10 centimeters. So if you measure it this way, you see that the distance across it is what is 10 centimeters. So this is how uh, you go about it. You can see in, in this construction we are not given the length of the sides, just the distance across flat. So in respect of uh, the lens you have been giving the same step the same process in getting this done so if you find this video helpful uh, please give it a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy can you click on the subscribe button right now to subscribe to this channel and make sure you visit our website paacademy.co that is paacademy.co so if you have any question for me or any video request just leave it in the comment section below uh, make sure you check our playlist on technical drawing for more videos like this and I'll see you all in another video thank you